Piazza del Duomo, Pisa. This is Italy's leaning tower of Pisa. The tower is located on the Piazza del Duomo in the city of Pisa in Tuscany. It is one of Italy's most famous landmarks. Duomo in Italian means cathedral. The Duomo Square and the tower are inscribed as a World Heritage Site. The city of Pisa dominated the Mediterranean area during the 11th century and the cathedral and tower was built to show the city's wealth. These columns were built with stones taken from lands conquered from Muslim territories and some of the building decorations show cultural influences from the east. One example is the mosaic of Jesus Christ above the altar, made with small pieces of coloured glass. These techniques were originally developed in the Byzantine Empire in the eastern Mediterranean. This Duomo illustrates the diversity of Mediterranean cultures. The 55-metre-high leaning tower was originally built as a belfry for the Duomo. A relief depicting sailing ships is carved on the tower. The sailing ship is a symbol of Pisa. During medieval times, Pisa was an independent maritime state that thrived on Mediterranean trade. Regatta races on the Arno River, which runs through the city, are reminiscent of those days. This is a contest of rival districts within Pisa. The first team that succeeds in taking a flag from the top of the flagpole wins. Pisa was situated on the estuary of the Arno River. The city had the biggest navy in the Mediterranean. By the 11th century, the city became a strong maritime state, dominating the western part of the Mediterranean. The city was built on a sandy area, which is why its foundations are weak. Even as the tower was being built, it started to tilt. Can you see where the upper parts of the tower were built to counterbalance the tilt? Restoration work to save the tower from tilting any further began in 1990. A number of iron tubes were placed at the base of the tower to extract sand from beneath the tower. The tower now leans at an angle of five degrees and must be preserved to pass on to future generations.